In this video, I'm going to be working on page 353, and the answers to 9 and 10 are on the screen for you to check your answers. I'm mainly going to be uh, walking you through question number 12, and this is uh, one you're going to need your graphing calculator on. This is the one where you're going to add the data into your list and then pull up a cubic and a quartic model, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's first start on the graphing calculator and uh, make sure your y equals there's nothing there let's make sure that our stat plots are on so go to second y equals and make sure that this is on push enter and you can see that if it's not on you want to highlight the on button and hit enter you also want to make sure that this type is showing that list one and list two are both showing and that you can use uh, any one of these three marks is fine. If you do not have list one or list two showing, just simply go down here to list one and um, go to the second L1, which is off the one button, and the second L2 is off the two button. So you can adjust your um, list if that is necessary. Next, let's go to stat, and we want to edit those lists so we will go and you can see I've already added the data from question number 12 into list 1 and list 2. We're asked to do a cubic model and a quartic model to see which one is the better fit. So let's start with the quartic. If you go now to stat calc and we want to do the cubic model that's going to be number 6. We want to pull up list 1, so that'd be second L1, put a comma in between each of these, second L2, comma, and we want this data to go into Y1, so that would be gained from going to VARS, Y VARS, function, and there's your Y1, and just push enter. Now you can just push enter and you can see that this cubic model is being given, and we're given the coefficients A, B, and C, and D happens to be the um, constant. Now to graph this, you want to make sure that your uh, graph is ready for this uh, data. So go to zoom, and you want to go to 9, which is your zoom stat. And as you can see, the um, cubic model is being displayed. It doesn't appear as if this is a very good fit, because for it to be a good fit, you'd want to try to hit each of and every one of these um, markings on the screen. So on your paper you can simply write down the data from y equals. You can see that it's been put into y1. Don't take it all these decimal places. Just go maybe two decimal places and that'll be good enough for me to know that you got the correct answer. Now let's do a um, quartic model. So what we're going to do is we're going to clear this out and repeat those stat steps. We're going to go to stat, calc, and this time we're going to go to quartic, which is number seven. And we want that to pull up list one, so we're going to go to second L1, comma, second L2, comma, and then again we want to get the Y1, which is obtained from going to vars, Y vars, enter twice, and there you go, and then just hit enter again. Once again, this is a quartic model, which is fourth degree. This time we have an additional, additional value. This happens to be the constant this time. Look how large this number is right here. This is also uh, going to indicate the y-intercept. So now again, you want to go to zoom 9 because you've got to prepare the data for this, or the graph for this data. Now you can see from this graph that this is a much better fit as this quartic model goes through the points a little bit better than the cubic model. So the answer to this question would definitely be the cubic model. So once again, for your answers, you'll want to um, jot down um, a few of these digits. Remember, this is your x to the fourth, and of course it counts down all the way to the constant. So. Uh, don't bother copying all these numbers again, just go to maybe two decimal places. And I'm going to end this um, session now, and the next questions will be on the next videos.